So, welcome to Jen's Hangout. Today, we're going to do a quick look using the new Star Ranch palette that I got in my mystery box. So, I should have got a cup of coffee because I'm thirsty. But, anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, so we're just going to do a quick, simple look. I have everything else done. Literally everything else done. Primer on the eyes, the whole shiny. So this is just going to be like a quick, simple, little, like, boom, five minute look and you're done. Right? So I think we're going to go in with Yak Farm as our first um, kind of transition-y type of shade. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt here if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Get the, stick them off the mirror <coughs> so I can just go ahead and use it. You guys can kind of see what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna use this. Wow, I can talk. I just gonna use, I'm just going to use this as kind of a base transition shade. Go in here. I just used a uh, concealer today for my base. Nothing fancy as a base. I don't. Like I said, I just, I figured I'd just do a quick little um, look here. So we're just going to blend this out really fast. Get this on my eye. Make sure it's even. This little mirror is fine straight on, but it is a little. Not as little as some of my views, but okay. So if you guys got this in your mystery box, have you tried it yet? What do you think? Let me know down below. I'm curious. Okay, so we have that on. Um, I'm gonna take this one. It's just a little bit flatter angled brush. I'm gonna go in with Wyoming, which is this kind of um, darker matte brown, and I'm going to do that on my outer V here, and just kind of bring that in, just to darken that up a little bit, give it some depth. Like I said, this is just kind of a quick, simple look, I'll bring it down. On my lower lash line. I just want to do a quick look with this. I mean, this is a palette that you can, like I said, when I opened my box, I tend to put a lot of my blue looks with a brown anyway just to kind of tone it down a little bit because blue can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes wow Jen get a little crazy there I'm trying to go a little too fast here I need to slow down made a mistake, but it's okay. I can clean it up. No worries. I know you guys have seen me do that before I clean it up. I have a wipe down here that I just used for something else. No problem. You 
don't have nails, use a Q-tip inside of your um, wipe to give it a little crisper line. Works really well. Really, really well. Okay. I went totally ham on that. It's hard to tell on that side too because I got all the shadow. That's better. Blend, 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 blend. When in doubt, blend more. That's the trick. Always blend. Blend, blend, blend. Never blend enough in my book. Just taking that. I didn't add any to this. This is that first brush that has that transition shade on it. And I'm just kind of using it as a neutral blender. If that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit stiffer of a brush now. Okay, I'm going to go in with a Moda. This is a Moda BMX 402 Smudger. And I am going to go in with Old Jeff. This one down here, it's kind of a shimmery blue. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to pack it on here. And I'm going to run that on my lid. See how well this does. I may end up having to use my finger. We'll see. I at least want to get the outline on here. You know. What I mean. I'm gonna leave this is just the two-thirds of the lid I am NOT going into that outer third I'm just gonna leave that mm, I got the hiccups I don't know I may leave it light I don't know no I don't know let's let's go in with the finger how that does. It's a little better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to just use this as a base and then go in on the other side do the same thing just to get my outline sometimes you need to do that you know it just kind of gives you a framework if that makes sense and then I will go in and finger with my finger over the top, down that, over the top, grind it up a little bit, okay, that's much better, and then I'm going to take a little highlighty brush that I use, which is just these little ones, and I am going to use this Star Creek, which is the green, I think, no, I'm going to use Casper Mountain instead, which is that light blue. I'm going to use that on my inner corner. Just to kind of give it a pop. And then on the back side of that brush, I'm going to go in with Owl Eyes up here. On my brow bone highlight. Just 
just to kind of liven that up a little bit. So there's that. I will be right back with my, I'm just going to do mascara because like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm just going to do some mascara and a little bit of liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have liner and lashes done. Um, <clears throat> I used Gypsy Blue by NYX. I really love their liners. They are fantastic liners. They just go on easy peasy, no issues whatsoever. Um, Lash Paradise, standby, you know, it is a holy grail forever. <laughs> Forever, forever, forever. Um, if I didn't mention it on my lips is Gemini by Jeffree Star. Um, I, this is not a bad palette. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why I am. It's a Jeffree Star palette. They're always good. Despite the fact that he kind of sucks. But anyways, so this is good. I like this. I like this, you know, quick little look. It came out very well. I am happy with it. So, I hope you guys are well. Blessings to you all. I love you guys. See you later. Bye.